Hello guys, I am back, still updating you what is going on, what is trending in Nigeria. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, uh, depending on your location at this time of the day. Um, I don't know where to start, uh, but let me begin from somewhere. Of course, um, we already know what is going on uh, in Southeast. I'm talking about the Cidado murder by um, Simon Egba. So according to Peter B, of course, you have seen that already on your screen. From his official Twitter handle, Peter B says, Indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, when the body has publicly denied issuing such directive, what is going on in the South is, therefore, is essentially a criminal activity that must be nipped in the bud. With all hands being on deck, security agencies and the people alike. All right, um, there is a lot of speculation. Many people saying that um, uh, Peter B., um, you know, is um on the side of IPOB, or Peter B is um exonerating IPOB that they are not responsible, uh, for what is going on the Cedado murder in Southeast. Now, if you guys should um pay attention to what Peter B says here, and time without number, IPOB had come out, you know, to deny they were giving such directive, the Cedar Home directive. Now, what actually happened is, according to Simon Egba, that the Cedado murder is um, to persuade the Nigerian government to release Namdi Kanu that was, um, I think, that was um, June 19. If I am not mistaken, I stand to be corrected. I think uh, Namdi Kanu, ever since June 19, 2021, has been uh, in the DSS facility. So literally about um, two years plus. Uh, so, according to Simon Egba, that the Cedar Dome murder is necessary for the government to release Namdi Kanu. So, many people are saying uh, Peter B uh, is supporting um, IPOB and Peter B, all those things. Now, what Peter B is saying here is that if a body, it's simple, if a body has publicly denied issuing such directive, which IPOB did, they distance themselves from the Cedar Dome order. So what am I saying? Kind of a faction in IPOB. Simon Egba faction and the, I think, DOA's faction. So Simon Egba is issuing the directive for the Cedar at home. He has followers. While other people, should I say the DOA's or something like that, also uh, from the side of Mazin Namdikanu, according to Namdikanu, that people should listen to the directive of uh, the DOS that is in the um, IPOB, okay? So IPOB says they are not aware. They didn't give any directive of Cedar Dome order or whatsoever. So Simon Legba, on the other hand, says there is going to be a two-week Cedar Dome after this um, one-week Cedar Dome, that there is going to be a Cedar Dome order from 31st July, I think, to 14th of August, Okay. And then the, from the information security agencies, the chief of army staff has ordered um, the security agencies to work hand in hand to make sure that such order do not hold. Now, imagine what it would the effect that it will have in the peop uh, to the people of Southeast. It is going to be too much. I mean, you cannot be saying you want to liberate your people without being biased here. I stand, my opinion is personal, without being biased, you cannot say you are fighting for the people, the same people you are fighting for, the same people you are fighting to liberate, you are still fighting with those same people. What happened during the MK, MK Wabiola? Just like what um, Reno Mokri says, MK Wabiola, it was true diplomacy that Abacha released him. What about Asari Dokubo? It was true diplomacy from the people of Niger Delta. It was not violent. Yes, that if diplomacy is applied you understand namdi can maybe could be released without violence now the same people you have you are you want to liberate you are fighting with those same people for me personally it doesn't make sense at all yes it doesn't make sense at all you are fighting the same people you want to liberate i mean for me i don't see any sense in there but i know a lot of a lot of you guys listening to me maybe in support of the Cedar Dome order, but 
one thing you should remember is that many of those people supporting or fueling this seed at home, they are not even in Nigeria. Yes, like Simon Ogba is in Finland. But you guys should understand. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Peter Obi's uh, tweet. If you have anything to contribute, uh, put it down in the comment section below. Like I told you guys, my opinion is personal. All right, see you guys in another update.